Good morning, class. I hope you had a good weekend, and I hope you're ready to get a, a new week going. We are very close to the end of this whole uh, amazing school year. Um, just a few more lessons, and uh, you'll be ready to wrap it up and become eighth graders. So uh, we're started on a new chapter, and we're um, going to be dealing with geometry again and uh, learning some new angle relationships um, to add to the ones you learned in the seventh grade book. So here we are on lesson 9.1.1. And the first thing we're clearing up, um, basically in this video, I'm going to go over a couple of the problems just to get you started. Um, and then we'll check back in at our office hours and make sure you're doing OK with everything. Um, but the key idea is uh, we're going to be dealing with parallel lines. And uh, one symbol that you need to get used to is that um, when you see something like this or like this, this is not telling you about lines being the same length or anything like that. It's just saying this line is parallel to this line. So that's the first thing we need to keep in mind. Um, the second thing to keep in mind is that besides the parallel lines, we're going to have a third line crossing those parallel lines that third line is going to create a lot of different angles, like this one, this one, this one, this one. There's um, almost a dozen different angles being created by that third line. And our job is to investigate the relationships um, between these different types of angles. Now, this line is special. It has a name. This is called the transversal. And then these are the parallel lines. So a transversal is a line that crosses a pair of parallel lines. In fact, um, the main idea of it is this crossing idea. So technically, you could say you could have some lines that aren't parallel. And if you have that third line crossing it, you could still call that a transversal. The catch, though, is that if your transversal does cross parallel lines, then you'll see some special things happening, like certain angles being exactly the same or certain angles adding up to 180 degrees. In this kind of situation, without the parallel lines, that transversal will create angles but there won't really be anything special about them. Like you won't see certain angles being the same or adding up to 180. So mainly today we're focusing on a transversal with parallel lines. Okay. All right. Now 9-1 uh, takes you through these two diagrams here. You'll need to trace some angles uh, with a blank sheet of paper. Um, and then use that to do a little investigating. You'll compare this drawing and this drawing. Then when you get to 9-2, um, you're going to try to hone in on those relationships a little bit more. Um, and if you have a printer, let's get that resource page printed out. If not, make sure you copy each of these diagrams as you go through it. And just to get you started, um, your directions in A say, okay, given that this is 107 degrees and this is 73 degrees, you now need to calculate the measures of B, C, D, and there should be an angle. Oh, no, F is in, in the next drawing. Um, you'll do the same thing for the, the other figures. Um, but for example, like A and B, together have to make 180 degrees because they're on the same, like they, they create a, a straight angle. So we would subtract 180 minus 107. This tells us that B must be 
73 degrees. Then you can do the same thing again. Um, B and C have to make 180. So 180 minus 73. That tells us C is 107 degrees. Or you might have noticed A and C are vertical angles. So right away, you know those are the same. Down here, E and D make 180. So we subtract those. That tells us D is 107 degrees. Then at this point, you're probably noticing a lot of these end up coming out to the same answers. So start looking for, you know, where are the angles that are the same? Here's 107, here's 107. Here's 107, here's 107. You could also notice, oh, well, this angle ends up being the same as that one. So you're doing some calculating for each of these drawings. Um, and then we also need to start making some observations and trying to notice things. That's what uh, this is about. Okay, hope that helps. Like I said, we'll check in again later. And uh, good luck with today's lesson. There's lots of interesting things to figure out with these drawings. Talk to you later.